there's seven specific celebrities who has the best reputation in Hollywood. Among our top picks is Tom Hiddleston. He has a reputation for being extremely hardworking. Not only is he MCU's heartthrob villain, but he also is one of the most diverse actors in Hollywood. He has hands down the best part of the Avengers without even being an Avenger. After playing Loki in Marvel's The Avengers, he turned around and did a vampire movie with Tilda Swinston. Because, well, that's the only viable follow-up. We saw him play the American country legend Hank Williams in the biopic I Saw the Light, a mad pathologist in his latest thriller High Rise, and even doing the weather on local TV. Loki, what have we got there? Well, you know, my uh, brother from another brother's been misbehaving. Besides his diverse roles, he's also known for being extremely nice. Remember when he knelt before a fan in the audience just because she asked politely? Neil. <laughs> or when he showed up at the San Diego Comic Con in 2013, dressed as the god of mischief himself. The fans were dumbfounded as they witnessed him taking the stage alongside Kevin Feige and asking the crowd of 6,000 people to say my name. Say my name! Say my name! Simply put, Tom is awesome. He can make math sexy. Pi is the circumference divided by the diameter of any circle. He is funny and has amazing dance moves. He was big and strong, in his eyes of flaming gold. His fans even believe the Loki's character wouldn't be as charming or intense if it wasn't for Hiddleston. Talking about intense acting, how can we not talk about Keanu Reeves? He's known for being one of the most humble and thoughtful actors in Hollywood. His amazing charisma and work ethics have secured him some of the most high-profile and high-paying roles, such as John Wick, Neo in Matrix, and Yuta in Point Break. Yet, he remains grounded and kind. Reeves, by no means, had an easy life. Having a difficult childhood, seeing people struggle with diseases, and losing loved ones is enough to make anyone jaded and unfriendly. However, not him. He decided to bring positivity into the world, be it going out of his way to sign autographs, buying co-stars to their favorite snacks, or inviting trespassers for drinks. Everything. I mean, he's, just, he's so kind and yeah, humble and yeah. collaborative yeah. and welcoming. I mean, everything, all the good things you hear about Keanu, like, they they're true. true. They're, they're true. true. Yeah. He also jumped out of a moving car once because he saw a fan sign saying, You're breathtaking. A reference to an iconic moment from his 2019 E3 appearance. You're breathtaking. In fact, he's so grounded that he's often spotted traveling through the metro and even gave his seat to an old lady once. A user posted a story on Instagram in which he told his followers how their catastrophic journey was made brighter by Reeves. When a plane full of passengers was forced to make an emergency landing in Bakersfield, Reeves talked to passengers throughout a tiring minibus journey to Los Angeles destination and played songs to cheer everyone up. Sandra Bullock's Reeves' co-star also shared a very sweet memory from the days when they were shooting their 1994 action film, Speed. She shared in an article via Enquires that she once told Keanu Reeves how she had never tried truffles with champagne before. So he showed up at her doorstep with some truffles and champagne for her. Hey guys, quick heads up. I've noticed a lot of you enjoy my videos but haven't hit the subscribe button yet. So it would be awesome if you could hit the subscribe button. Now, Back to the video. Just like Keanu, our next celeb is also extremely down-to-earth and humble. Selena Gomez is an icon. She's one of the most followed celebrities on Instagram. Having such a huge fan base, you would think that she would flaunt her lavish lifestyle and expensive cars, but no. Selena is literally the most relatable celebrity ever. Be it her extremely clumsy skills in the kitchen or her dramatic love life, she has always been herself and open about her struggles. Selena has always used her voice to empower women. She openly talks about her mental health problems and body image issues. She also really cares about her fans and is literally a walking cinnamon roll. Looking at this video of her after she found out that her fans were sending her the real money, she immediately ended her TikTok live after she realized that people were sending her gifts that cost actual money. Is it true that people give you money when you're live? Yeah. But like, 
fake money. No, I don't want people to do that though. No, 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 no. If there's no, 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 no. If there's one celebrity moment cuter than this, it's Benedict Cumberbatch saying penguin. His penguins. <laughs> These are Fiordland crested penguins, named after this corner of South New Zealand. So why are these woodlands so attractive to penguins? Is not only a hero on screen, but off screen too. He's also about saving humanity. He encourages his huge fan base to donate to charity on his birthday every year. Look at him sing happy birthday for a fan on the street. In addition to this, he has also worked alongside the British royal family. He received a CBE honor in 2015 from Queen Elizabeth for his outstanding contributions to the arts and charitable causes. In 2018, he jumped out of his Uber to save a Deliveroo food delivery guy from getting mugged by four people. And I just stopped the Uber that we were in and got out and tried to intervene, tried to calm the kids down who were riled up, tried to calm him down who looked like he was about to fight for his life and didn't really think twice about knives or acid or any of the other things that can be part of that situation so it's a bit foolhardy but the food delivery company deliveroo later posted an appreciation tweet for benedict for his brave actions the list of friendly famous faces goes on but there are very few people who made their names being a genuinely lovely person quite like daniel redcliffe maybe it's the fact that he played a very lovable character that spanned almost a decade with eight movies in total or perhaps it's because he stands up for the queer community and creates awareness about pressing issues his co-stars also appreciate him for his sweet gestures and work ethics on the 20th anniversary of harry potter his co-star Star Helena Bonham Carter shared a very personal and adorable message the Redcliffe wrote for the actress years ago. The younger Redcliffe told Helena in the message that if he was just 10 years older, he might have had a chance with her. Well, what a charmer. And nothing compares to how nice and kind he was in the BuzzFeed video reading Thirst Tweets. A user tweeted asking if she could lick Daniel Redcliffe's eyebrow, and he genuinely thanked her. Great, thank you. I've always been very, very self-conscious about my, my crazy eyebrows, so it's, it's, it's it's nice to know that they're going down well out there. 6. John Cena While most know him for his wrestling days, he's seen quite a lot of success in Hollywood too. It's not far-fetched to say that he is one of the most hardworking individuals in any industry, period. Talking about his WWE days, let's not forget the countless times he put his body on the line to entertain his fans while trying to teach kids his credo, hustle, loyalty, and respect. That's nothing compared to how he flies all over the world to see make-a-wish kids and brighten up their day. Or all the times he has invited kids who survived cancer into the ring with him. He's also very funny, constantly making self-depreciating jokes to make the fans laugh at his expense. The male body is not a joke. Mine is. <laughs> no, it's not. You wrestle naked, why not? Dude, I don't wrestle naked, I wrestle in jorts. Jorts are worse than naked. Apart from his wrestling accolades, one of his most well-known roles in Hollywood was that of Peacemaker, a hero who believes in peace, no matter how many people he has to kill to get it. And John plays that role perfectly. A hilarious segment on Jimmy Kimmel shows him wearing the Peacemaker outfit on air, claiming to have stolen it. His justification for not returning the costume? I've learned that if you just keep the costume on, they don't ask for it back. <laughs> This, amongst the other pranks he plays and his general goodwill towards his audience, makes him one of the most reputable people in Hollywood. Talking about pranks brings us to our last celeb, Jennifer Lawrence. She pulled a prank on an interview host, pretending that she was getting offended by the questions. Trust us, it's definitely worth watching his reaction. She was so worried about upsetting and even apologized profusely after. I feel like this is like a waste of everybody's time. I'm sorry. I feel like you're not really a who would that kind of thing and shoot yeah, I mean, man, you I'm was, sorry, you, man. You upset someone like Jen. Okay, I Thank get you. it. I get it. Oh, cool. uh... <laughs> 
the Oscar-winning star sure does know how to make things entertaining. Be it red carpet events or talk shows, she fell. Not once, but twice on the red carpet, including moments before she was about to receive her Oscar, and later admitted to taking a shot backstage. However, this wasn't the only time she had been drunk on the red carpet. The best thing about her is that she's herself and that it's what the audience admires about her. Unlike many actresses, Jennifer Lawrence doesn't obsessively care about her vanity. We mean, she can stuff her mouth with a bunch of marshmallows and still look gorgeous. And this ain't just it. It seems like she's a real foodie too, since she snuck food in 2014 Oscars and ate an entire candy bracelet during an interview. Some of her interactions with the general public have also been nothing short of hilarious. In 2017, she hosted the Jimmy Kimmel Show. Of course, being naturally funny she is, she went all out to entertain the audience. She even went out on the streets and asked people to name all the Jennifers in Hollywood. It's hilarious how many of these people didn't know a thing about her and how well she took that. Can you name five Jennifer Lawrence movies? Five Jennifer Lawrence movies? I know. Who is no. that bitch? She's also very soft-hearted, but in a quirky way. She appeared on Conan on TBS, where she played uncensored swear jar. She had to throw out random swear words, and for every word she said, money was donated to a children's organization. We definitely lost it when she said, I'm doing it on your mark, get set, for the f***ing Go, go! Okay, mother